Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unmerged in the Marketplace sale. This time it's the September sale where once again we can save 50% off of over 1,600 different items and this is lasting until September the 25th. So that is this Sunday the 25th of September 2022. So once again I'm just going to be covering 10 different assets as I usually do with these monthly sales. Obviously I've not managed to get through all of them but these are just 10 which I've spotted and I think they look really really good so we're going to be going over covering these today. So without further ado let's get right into it starting with the photorealistic desert landscape 4x4km. So there's not much information on this one on the marketplace page but you can really get a sense of what this is from the video and the screenshots and obviously it is a desert location and again the size of the map is a 4x4km. So this is a high poly desert map which includes several different environmental locations and this also includes a wide variety of different plants. So there's 50 unique meshes, they do all have collision and they do have LODs as well. There's 18 materials and material instances with 38 textures and the text resolutions go all the way down from 512 to 4k. But again they've mentioned it is high poly, they've not said how many polys but they've said high poly so you want to keep that in mind if you did want to get this. Obviously make sure you are able to run it but once again they've also said there are LODs in this as well so it should run it nice and efficiently. Once again however there's really not a lot to say on this one, it's really just what you see. Next up we've got the Sci-Fi Cyber Hover Buggy 2. So this is a playable car with realistic complex suspension as well as customizable materials and it's all in 4k textures and this is ready to use as a pawn as well so you can play as this car and control it. So the controls are set up, it has a jet exhaust, complex suspension, front and rear light control for color and power, the body is emissive, you've got customizable materials 4k textures and it does also have sound as well. So the inputs of this are acceleration, turning, handbrake and camera changing and there is also a disclaimer of this is for it to be used in UE5 you need to have the Chaos Vehicles plugin required and enabled but for UE4 you shouldn't need anything additional. So some more of the technical details of this is there's one character obviously being the car, there's 12 different materials and material instances the triangles on the car itself is 77,266, so that's not too bad at all for a player. There's 8 material slots and there's obviously 1 mesh. There's 26 textures and all of those are 4K. So this is a very high quality looking car as you can clearly see in the video on screen now. Next up we've got the Advanced Save System V2. So this pack allows you to save all of your actors, characters, widgets, game modes and even your level blueprint in seconds. So anything that you want to save in your game, this allows you to do it. So it allows you to save your game in an optimized way and the time to save the game is short compared to systems that save everything. The load time is shorter and with event save you will choose what you want to save and event load you can choose what you want to load. So most systems will save and load everything at once. This allows you to do just specific things which really cuts down on the saving and loading time. It's only doing what it needs to do. So you can save variables and actors, widgets, game modes, player controllers, game instances and level blueprints. You can also save actors and widgets that have been spawned or destroyed in game. So in total in this asset pack we have 21 different blueprints and it is not network replicated. So this is just for single player. So keep that in mind as well. Once again I think this one looks absolutely great though. I wanted to get some more blueprint kind of stuff in here as well rather than just asset packs visually but something which you can actually use for your game in the back end too and again I think this one looks absolutely great, it looks very very efficient. And now we have the modular medieval environment. So this is a well designed 4x4km medieval environment including a castle complex, a church, a chapel, barns, a windmill, a watermill and houses all built on a high quality photo scanned landscape with many procedural features. So this pack provides many necessary features of an overall medieval village. So if you wanted to really create that medieval village style and put that in your game, this pack is perfect for it. And as I said, it's modular, so that means you can really create your own custom environments with this as well. It doesn't just have to be what you see on screen now. You can use those assets to create your own unique place, which means many people can have this pack and it will look completely different for everyone using it, which I love about modular things. So all the meshes forming the villages are located on a 16 km square island with procedural landscape and foliage arrangement. The landscape textures, plants and rocks are all completely photo scanned as well, meaning they will be absolutely amazing quality. The coastal cliffs are modelled and sculpted, 
and the environment also includes five elm trees and several bushes. And on top of all of this, Unreal Engine's volumetric cloud system and water system are also integrated into this project, so you don't need to set that up yourself as well, they've already done it for you. But with that being said, you do need to make sure you turn on volumetrics and water plugins from the plugins menu obviously to be able to use those things. But they're set up for you, you just need to make sure you enable them. So some more technical details of this are there is over 150 building meshes, over 75 props and over 20 pre-made buildings in groups. So as much as I was saying you can make your own stuff and have it all completely different, there is also some prefabs already made for you as well if you just wanted to use those straight away. There's five different elm trees with wind and billboard features and there's two different island maps, both of which being 16 km square landscape. There's landscape grass type for the plants, photoscanned assets being 7 rocks and 40 ground plants with wind features as well. There's 8 unique cliff meshes, there's a Niagara system for birds and smoke, there's customised volumetric cloud system, a landscape slope material and normal blend, and a light function material for the cloud effect too. So I know that was quite a lot that I just went over, but again there's so much in this pack that it's absolutely great. In total there's 300 meshes with both custom and automatically generated collision, and all of these do have LODs as well. There's 18 materials, 70 material instances, and 22 material functions, with 105 textures with the resolutions of 1K and 4K. So it's really not too much for your system to handle, and again I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. Next up we've got the backroom 5 level environment. So this is 5 modular levels for the backrooms. So if you wanted to make your own backrooms game but you don't know where to start with the assets, you can maybe use these 5 levels to create that first kind of demo of your game or the full game if you wanted as well. So this is also a modular pack, so again you're using these levels but it doesn't have to look the same as everyone else, you can create your own levels using these assets. So these are all high quality assets with a modular environment as well as having example levels included as well so you can get an idea of how it wants to be laid out to look great. And these also allow for 4K text as well for that really high quality. So there's 114 unique meshes with 158 total meshes. They do all have automatically generated collision and they also have automatically generated LODs. There's 60 materials and material instances in total with 121 textures ranging from 1K, 2K and 4K. So again, these look great, it's a really modular asset pack for you to just create your own backrooms games, and again, high quality textures, all looks perfect for what you'd want in a backrooms game. It really does give that feel of it, it does it very very well. Now we've got the industrial alley, which is an industrial environment with real time and no scans. So the project contains modules, those being walls, doors, windows, vents and pipes, and many smaller decorations being concrete slabs, curbs and electrical parts and decals. And you also get the example level shown in the video on screen now. So this has reusable props for a quick environment creation, a switchable day and night environment with lighting scenarios, a simple material setup for easy integration, windows with cube map interiors, and foliage is using pivot painter wind. So the windows with cube map interiors means that it's going to look like there is an inside to the building without there actually being anything in there. So it just makes it look a lot better while also running nice and efficiently. So there's 190 objects and props with 4 vegetation assets. The vertex count is a maximum of 30,000, but most of the assets are 5k and below, which is very very good. There are some handmade and some auto-generated LODs, and the same goes for the collisions as well. There's 6 master materials, over 60 instances, 6 tileable surfaces and 28 decals, and there's over 100 textures in total, with the resolution being from 4k to 256. And does also say it's scaled to the epic skeleton. I'm not sure what specifically they're referring to in that specific part there, but something is scaled to the epic skeleton. I can't see a humanoid mesh or model anywhere in here, but there you go, they've said something is, so something is. But again, the rest of this I think looks absolutely fantastic, because this is also, once again, as with the other ones, this is a modular pack too. Next up, we've got a settings menu. So this is a professional, fully featured settings menu, rich with all modern functions and fully customizable, ready for your projects. And versatile settings menu with additional functionality ready for your project, and it's a professional, fully featured settings menu, rich with all modern functions, and it's fully customizable as well. You can use the whole settings menu, part of it, or customize it to your liking in any way you see fit. So even if you just want a few of the settings on here, you can use just a few of them if you wanted. So with this project, you'll get a professional, fully featured settings menu, easy to customize, extend and skin, 
a blueprint only solution, over 50 functional settings including advanced ones like real time post processing or key binding settings, a total of 70 settings ready to use and customizable if needed, an asynchronous map loading initial system with a persistent master map, over 300 blueprints and assets including a mouse, keyboard and gamepad icons set to help prototype your projects faster and much much more. Some other technical details of this are there are 72 widget blueprints, 147 textures, 4 maps and levels, 1 player controller, 1 game instance, 1 game mode and 4 blueprints. There's lots of other stuff on there as well but those are the main ones and the input of this is like I said mouse, keyboard and gamepad. This however is not network replicated but you don't really need that in a settings menu anyway. So you can obviously see on the video on screen now but some of the different settings we have of which GPU to use, which monitor it's going to be on, if we have VSync, the FPS limit, windowed mode, resolution, camera correction, text quality and so so much more. Really anything you'd want to change inside of your project we have inside of the settings menu here which I think is absolutely fantastic. I believe this is great value for the price it's at which is about £15 so at the moment it's about £7.90. Obviously that will be different for everybody in your own currency. Next we've got the western characters pack. So this is a 3D characters western pack perfect for many different genres of games. So this is a lot more than just a character pack which you'll be able to see in the video on screen. So you can control the modularity through a customized master component. So you can change the head, hairstyles and clothes from other assets in here as well. All parts of this fit perfectly together so you can really customize your own character if you wanted. The project includes a weapon, that being a revolver. Each character has several unique skins. The basic cowboy has several types of facial wounds for action scenes as well. The map includes a high quality render scene. So it's got fully customized physics of the characters, i.e. simulation of hair and clothes. You can also change the color of the skin, eyes and hair. And the project also has a playable character blueprint and clothes and physics simulations as well. So it's very simply just a plug and play. And this also has horse riding too. So once again, this looks absolutely amazing. There's so much in this. And they've also got the poly count of all the different characters in here as well. I'm not going to go over them all here, but if you do want to see that, you can obviously see it on the marketplace page. But they're roughly around 50 to 60,000 for all of them, which is absolutely perfect for a character. So these are rigged and they are rigged to the epic skeleton as well, however they are not animated. There's 5 characters, 187 materials and material instances and 522 textures ranging all the way from 256 to 4k. Now we've got the cooking basics mocap animations. So this is a variety of 21 mocap animations relating to cooking in a kitchen environment including a face and hand animations too. So a lot of the animations don't have face animation. A lot do have hand, but this one obviously includes both. So like I said, it's 21 mocap cooking animations, 5 chopping and preparation for cooking, 5 at a stove with a pot and pan, 3 using a microwave, 3 using an oven, 3 various i.e. hot soup, salad bowl and turn grill, and 2 handling dough. So this is great if you have a kitchen in your game and you really just want to liven up and make it look like it's actually lived in, it's actually being worked in, this would be perfect for you because it's mocap, it's going to look really realistic and actually how a person would do it because a person did do it. So this obviously features the animations, an overview map with all the animations on a custom mannequin with the face rig for demonstration purposes so you can then very easily see how to set it up with your own rig. And it's got 29 prop meshes with materials as well, so i.e. the microwave, the pan, the stove, all that different stuff. This is rigged to the epic skeleton and it's also got IK bones included if the epic skeleton does too. There's 21 animations, all of which are in place. So some additional important notes on this are the face animations work with every character that has art kit face shapes. The character needs hand IK bones like the Unreal Mannequin rig for prop animations to work. And the assets in the demo folder are just provided for demonstration purposes, so you can't use those in your game. They're only there for demonstration. And finally, last but not least, I think this one looks amazing too, it's the Spruce Forest. So this is photo scanned rocks, plants and trees with a paintable landscape, water material and a realistic wind system. So this is a realistic and optimised spruce forest with photo scanned assets, realistic wind system and a paintable landscape auto material too. This is easy to customise with the material instances and global material parameter collection. 
So on here, they've also got a documentation which they're currently working on, which will include optimization tips and much more. So some features of this are there are 10 rocks, 4 cliffs, 16 plants, a paintable automated landscape material with procedural plants and rocks, a wind system, 3 Niagara particle systems for snow, rain and falling leaves, a procedural winter and autumn, procedural puddles, a water material, interactive foliage, road and path spline meshes, and additional shadows on flat surfaces. So there's really a lot in this. They've also got the different seasons, they've got different weather types, they've got great lighting, there's a lot in this which is perfect for whatever you'd want in a spruce forest. There's 75 unique meshes, all of which have collision. They've got the vertex count on here and once again they're very very low. Again you can check them in the description down below by clicking on the link to the page. There are automatically generated LODs for all of these assets and billboards for all the trees and some plants too. There's 4 master materials and 41 material instances with 97 textures, all of which are 4K. So this is obviously a very realistic, high quality looking asset pack, so again you'd want to keep that in mind if you wanted to use this. You'd want to make sure you've got a good enough PC to be able to run it, but I think this looks absolutely amazing. I really love how it looks in all the different seasons as well, and again the rain and the snow all looks perfect on this. I think it looks great and in autumn again this is procedural so it does also have leaves falling on the floor they've not just changed the color of the leaves they are also falling they're on the floor all the great stuff which you can obviously see better explained on the video now and the same goes for winter there's also snow on the trees snow on the floor and everything also does just look colder as well anyway but i think that'll be it for this video on the unreal engine september sale where once again we can see 50 percent of over 1600 assets until Sunday, September the 25th. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just covering these different assets and giving my opinion on them and sharing them. And obviously there'll be links in the description down below to them as well. I think my favorite one this time around is either the settings menu or the spruce forest environment. I think those ones are absolutely great. Very different, obviously one of them is an environment pack. One of them is a blueprint pack, so it's more functional. But again, both of them are absolutely amazing. So thanks so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.